Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do part two of our 2022 planner prep. So you're probably wondering why are there so many parts to this? Um, I shop a lot in case you haven't noticed and I have a feeling a lot of other people shop a lot or have products that have been sitting around and they haven't been using. A lot of the time the reason things don't get used is we can't find them. We don't know where they are. We put them somewhere they're lost. Kind of like my PayPal debit card. It is somewhere in my house and I haven't been able to find it for two weeks. I remember thinking to myself, don't put this here, you'll forget. And I did it anyway and yep, I forgot and I don't know where it is. So somewhere in my house, I'll probably find it two years from now. So my point is, we have all this stuff. We spend money on this stuff. We get excited that we found this stuff at a good price and we brought it home and we're all set to use it and it's, well, I'm going to use it next month or, oh, I want it for this planner I'm going to use in January or whatever the case may be. And we put things away and then we can't find them. I am guilty of this. I have packs of paper. I have extension packs. I have uh, companion packs. I have all kinds of things all over the place. <laughs> Um, in fact, I think I complained about this in one of my videos because I'm shooting so many videos I've just got piles and piles and piles of things down here and it makes it really hard when you want to like sit down and Do a planner spread because you're just surrounded by it's it's like mental overload So what I want to do is start with the paper the companion packs the extension packs how we can store them um, how we can make it easy to find them theming things is usually a good idea so let's just start with that and try to get ourselves organized so that we can set up and move into our 2022 planners knowing where all our stuff is not feeling like it's cluttered and jumbled and in all these crazy places that's not a good way to plan if you have to spend an hour finding your sticker book so that you can do your planner spread that only takes you 30 minutes that's a problem so it's not a problem of stuff it's a matter of it's a problem of managing the stuff <laughs> organization um, and I know people usually do like organization videos in January because that's when everybody's selling all the organization stuff online and Target's got big sales and white sales I think they used to call them I don't know if they still do um, my grandmother lived for that stuff every year <laughs> it was her favorite um, so what I want to do is start going over the things that I have and I have stacks here um, I did take things out of the companion packs so if you want to do this along with me pause the video go get all your paper packs go get your expansion packs your um, packs of paper anything that you have sitting around lying around you know where it is obviously uh, grab some discs and let's see if we can figure out the best way to store it and be able to use it throughout the year instead of wasting our time and wasting our money because we thought we were out of that filler paper so we went and bought more and then we found two more packs a week later I've done that okay so if you want to help if you want to do this with me pause the video Okay, I gave you enough time to pause the video, so we are moving ahead. All right, so we're going to start with, this is my stack of faith planning stuff. So this is a bunch of companion packs, paper packs. Um, I don't really think I have any extension packs. So these are the dry erase boards that I don't know what to do with. We all know I don't know what to do with them. This is like a running joke. I think it's going to be a running joke forever. Here is one of the dashboards. I don't know what to do with those either. Do with, and we've got another dry erase board that I don't know what to do with. So why is this all in this stack like this? Well, I'm wondering because I don't have, I mean, I have some covers, but I don't have an abundance of covers. So I'm wondering if I use these boards that I have no use for anyway, and I put all this on expander discs, now I've got a book of all my faith-based paper. You see where I'm going with this? So we can make covers out of things that we don't actually use. So I'm gonna need 
This is why I thought I ordered expander discs off Amazon. If you watched the Amazon video, they're not expander discs. Um, because I'm running out of... <laughs> I might have some more upstairs, maybe. I don't know. But I'm running out of expander discs. So, but that's all that's in this jar. Since I separated them out. So, that should make it a little easier. So... Face, face. I mean, it really doesn't matter. There are two pastel yellow discs in here for like rainbow stuff. So let's just go with green. Seven, eight, nine. All right. I'm just going to push these over to the side instead of putting them back in the jar because we're probably going to need them again. All right. Now, let's see if this will work or if I have too much paper here. So, this would be, theoretically, our front cover. I mean, if you have a cover you want to use to do this, go right ahead. Um, I only have so many covers, and I don't use these, so this seemed like a good idea to me. Alright, I'm going to put them together. And line them up and pop in some discs. I mean, everything is disc bound, so why not use that disc bound system to store? I mean, we use it to store our planners, right? Whether they're on a shelf or they're in use. So, why not use that same system? And the stuff that we get in all the packages that we buy to store it so that we know exactly where it is. Like, I don't even think I would need to label this. I'm going to look at this and know that this is faith. So, now we've got this open. So, now we can start sticking in our paper. I'm going to put it in the same order I had it in the stack. Just because I don't feel like moving it around. But if you wanted to move the kind of prompty daily type pages um, together and, um, you know, put notebook paper in another place or something, you can totally do that. should always do it on that side and then flip it over. I don't really know what I was thinking. Okay. I've got this peachy paper. Don't try to stick like an entire... Like sometimes it's like I'm doing it right now. I'm trying to put too many pages on at once. The paper doesn't like it. The discs don't like it. But I will persist with this stack. <laughs> and then I'm so sorry if the camera's shaking. Uh, but it probably is because I'm putting things on discs. Um, all right. So it's usually better to put it on that side and flip it over this way. All right, so let's use a smaller stack of paper. All right, that goes on. Plus, once there's more stuff on here, for some reason, it'll be easier to put it on, too. All right, and now we're going to finish that peachy paper. And this is also only the classic sized faith stuff. I have the large, uh, big sized faith stuff. I think I have too much paper again. Um, over on, uh, well, in this pile. I have a lot of things in this pile. Um, and the other thing is too, is if you have like multiples of things or if you've got like 10 packages of, of mini paper on clearance, kind of like I did that one time, um, I am not putting those on discs. What I am doing is buying the 12 by 12 clear paper boxes from Michaels and I'm putting them in there on based on size and I'm sticking a big label on them. And then that way I know exactly what I should be finding in that box because it just seems silly to open sealed packages that I'm not going to be using for a while. Like, this stuff will get used. This stuff, most of this will be gone by 2023. Um, 
and then I'll need more stuff. So luckily, you know, they seem to love releasing things. So it's Saturday. It is December 11th. Did anyone see, like, did anyone see the post on Instagram where Happy Planner was like something new is coming Saturday and get like all excited and think like maybe it was a big happy box or something and then wake up and find out it was sticky notes? I don't know what's going on over there. I'm assuming it was some sort of shipping delay snafu, but I don't think hyping it all that much was really in their best interest because it's going to be like the boy who cried wolf now. They're going to say, oh look, something new is coming and I'm going to be like, yeah, it's probably more sticky notes or like a tiny zip pouch and I'm not going to be all excited to go look, you know? So what do you guys think about the sticky notes? And the promotion of said sticky notes. They're also doing some kind of giveaway. I didn't read all the details, but it's on Instagram. So it's a pretty big prize. So you guys might want to go check it out. But it involves like clothing or shoes or something. They partnered with somebody. I didn't really get it. So I'm not really sure what the folders are for at this point. I think my thought was to use them to separate different kinds of paper or different themes of paper or different sets. So it might be that 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 might be why I did that. Um, but I was preparing for this video four days ago, five days ago. Um, and just pulling everything out and Ray came home and he was like, oh my God, what happened in here? And I was like, I'm organizing. You should be happy, less clutter. And, you know, he's looking at the, the stack of cardboard for the recycling and all that. And he was not, not happy at all. No, not happy. Um, all right, so I don't want to mess those up. Okay. There's this note paper, and you know, this is a disbound system, so a month from now, if I get annoyed, I want all the plain note paper in one spot and all the daily type sheets in another, I can just pull them out and put them that way. That's one of the things I love about this. I, I don't understand, like, the spiral bound planners. My power sheets are spiral bound, and it drives me crazy. Like, I want to move things around, and I can't. can't add paper in there. So, that's a little unnerving. So I realize this might become tedious, so after we do this first one, I think I'm going to show you what I'm doing, explain it, set up the covers, and then I'm going to speed through putting the paper on whatever we're putting it on, because otherwise this is going to be a six hour video of watching me put paper on desks. And that doesn't sound like fun. I don't think I would watch all of that. Um, but it is a good idea. Now, a lot of your companion packs will also come with stickers. They'll come with bookmarks um, and other various items. Like I have a stack of cards, wellness cards, faith cards. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do with these. So for right now, there are a little stack of cards just sitting over here. And they're probably going to get a rubber band and go into a pouch or one of my little, like I have little baskets of accessories that I leave down here for when I'm planning. So I might do that. I really don't know what they're for. So if you do, please let me know because I'm baffled. All right, let's now pop these on. Oh dear. This is why you should always do it on the right and then move them to the left. They don't like it when you do it the other way and they don't like it when you crowd them. I don't know why. I also don't know why I think paper and cardboard have a thought process, but that's where I am today. This 
Let's pull it over now. Okay. And we're almost done with this one. Because now we're up to Spoonful of Faith. So we could, in fact, fit this whole thing on here, which I am quite pleased with. I really, I think this is the thickest one, this and the Wellness, because I buy every companion pack and stuff for those. So I really thought this and the Wellness, this might not work. The, you know, the expander discs might not be enough. So I'm very happy to see that they are, in fact, enough. Um, so anyway, bookmarks and, and stickers and stuff. Um, I have my pile of bookmarks over there because I use them for things, uh, and I'm going to probably use them uh, in some other setups for storing paper. Um, but you could also put, you know, the stickers that match, that came out of the companion packs. You can put them in these folders um, if you don't want to put them somewhere else. All right, so here is our Faith Collection book. So we've got, I mean, you know, these things are durable, so we've got a cover. And then I've got these little small sheets and dashboard I don't know what to do with. And now I've got note paper and all these other things. So when I want something, I can go grab this off my shelf and flip through it and find the thing I wanted and put it in my planner. And that's way faster than digging through stacks and stacks of those cardboard envelopes, which while pretty, and I do really like them, and I tried to keep them for like the last year I've been trying to keep them and it's just not it's not working for me it's taking up too much space I can't see what's in it so I don't pick them up you know unless I really need a piece of paper and don't have any more and then I will go find them to get the you know some paper out so this seems like a much better idea to me and I figured I would share it with everybody so that we can get organized and effectively use our planners for 2022 so here's the faith one and we're going to move on. Let's see. What have I got next? All right. I found one we can use mini discs for. Um, so this is the floral companion pack Mickey folder. And then this is from whatever this Oasis. So there's that folder. And these are all daily sheets, which I like daily sheets but I don't know that I'm going to use Mickey daily sheets anytime soon. Um, so I thought I would give them their own little container. And, you know, the folders are fairly sturdy too, so why not use them as a cover? So let's find some of those really tiny discs. Sorry about the crinkling. We just did green. Okay, right, we got some red. How many do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Trash pile. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've got nine. So this is small. So I'm not going to speed this up, but folders are also a good option for makeshift covers just for storage like I wouldn't I don't think I would use folders or dry erase boards as planner covers I mean I suppose you could but I don't think I would um, probably would not but for storing paper I mean really maybe you don't have a lot of paper to store but maybe you have kids who bring you 12 pages of artwork every day and you want to save it, all of it, some of it, throw it on discs. Don't have a cover for it? Grab some folders. Grab some dry erase boards that you're not using. If I could put everything on discs, I probably would. <laughs> I can't. Well, maybe I can. Um, but. Alright, so now we've got our little, I mean, and obviously you can look at it. It's Mickey. 
So now we've got this little Mickey Daily Pages ready to go on our shelf, taken care of. Next up is my wellness stack, which is not as thick as I thought, which worries me and makes me think that I have left something somewhere that I didn't mean to, and I'll be upset about it later, but this is what I'm working with. So I have one folder, and I have one dry erase board, and then I have all these different like checking in kind of pages. Um, and then another dashboard. So I'm going to put these on regular sized discs because I'm quite certain I have more of this somewhere. I just don't know where. Both of these items are sturdy. I don't see any reason you can't combine them and make a cover because if you can see your paper and you're using your paper then you will eventually need more paper as opposed to thinking you don't have any more paper buying more paper and now you have too much which is as i said something i have done I'm having fun trying to appropriately come up with colors that match the makeshift colors I'm using. So we've got white for this one. These are vision boards, dashboards, I'm not sure what they are really. I'm going to pop this on here. And then there are these pages, which I feel like just based on the style that this was like an older wellness companion pack. Um, I could be wrong though, let me know. Um, so like if I run out of the ones that I like, I would probably use these, but I don't think I would use these every day. Probably, or, you know, every week. Um, I usually pop in a page every week. You know, I have different ones, like I have these. And I have the ones we're gonna see in a second, although I think you can see them on the screen. Um, so, there's these. They're kinda like guided journal pages a little bit. A lot of reflection. Um, my wellness planner has like I put in all the habit trackers and stuff, but the paper I usually use that I pop in um, has like some habit trackers already on it. So that makes it a little bit easier. I can always slap a habit tracker sticker on here. That's what I need one of these like Heather or Jojo or Amber or somebody it would probably end up being Jojo I guess because she seems to do these single item type books more than everybody else um it'd be really nice to see these are more like daily pages again um like I don't need an hourly for my wellness planner um but it'd be nice if someone would come out with habit trackers in like every color, lots of them in a book, that would be great because I use a lot of them. So I'm going to have to start, I'm going to have to either learn how to make them on my Cricut, which is still in the box because my planner stuff is everywhere so I can't set it up. Um, I'm going to have to start buying them off of Etsy because I'm going to run out really soon. Um, okay, so here's all of the wellness stuff on discs, which is fantastic because now I can find it and because I'm using things that came in the companion packs and they are themed the same as the wellness stuff. Like I know that's from um, Wellness Warrior based on the pattern. So I know that's my wellness stuff. So that's just kind of where my brain is at with that. Okay, so let me show you this. So this 
These, by the way, are the covers and discs for my original um, catch-all planner for this year. And then I switched it out. So I've been storing stuff in here, but it's at its max, which is why we're doing all of this. So here's the dashboards from the Mickey and Minnie florals. And I put it in here because this is just, you know, plain note paper. Like basically this is plain note paper and I use mostly folders to divide it. So this was painterly pastels. Um, I also used to put um, bookmarks in here when they came with them and then I realized I needed the bookmarks so I stopped doing that. Um, but you could completely do that. So, all right, so this is clearly, this is wellness. So this should be, yeah, this is wellness. This should be in the other one. All right, I don't know why I did that. So we're going to take this out because this should be in, I mean, granted, I, I'm not wrong about this. This is basically just, you know what? No. Let's leave it here. Because it is just note paper, and that was kind of the point of this one. Because what happens is, I finish my notebook. And we know I love notebooks. And then I need more paper for my notebook. Or I need an extra piece of paper for something. And this is always on top of my planner cart, so this is what I grab for. All right, so there's that paper, there's this paper. It just says notes. I mean, it's clearly clearly, Wellness Warrior. All right, look at that pattern. That's exactly what that is. Um, this is clearly Homebody. So like I said, you can put your extra sheets of stickers in these folders. And I'm using the folders as a divider. So here's my uh, Homebody paper which again is perfectly fine for work notebooks, home notebooks. It's got flowers on it. I might use it for like my garden planner, but I hardly ever have to add extra. Well, I add extra pages in when I'm making my seed orders because those are long detailed notes. And sometimes I'm sketching out um, how I want to plant things and stuff, but that's, I usually use plain paper for that or grid paper. So this is a dry erase board. I think this is from Pressed Florals, and I think this is a dash, yeah, this is Pressed Florals. So dashboard, vision board, whatever you want to call it, dry erase board, and then this really pretty paper. So like this one's got days of the week on it, I might need that for something. Okay, boss babe, just the folder, and then this folder. Um, this came out of the black and white companion pack a couple of releases ago. So that's what's in this one. So this one is generally just for note paper, themed note paper, and it was all ready to go, so you didn't have to watch me put it on discs. All right. So budget, I do have two dry erase boards. Um, and if you watched my budget planner videos or my current setup video, you know that I keep a lot of extra pages in the back of my planner in case I need them. Um, but I also have more extension packs, expansion packs, companion packs, so it's a lot of stuff. Um, and it's a lot of stuff to try to keep in the back of my planner. So I decided I was going to take a big handful of different kinds of things that I don't necessarily um, need to have in my budget planner 24 hours a day and put them on these dry erase boards that I also don't use. So let's see, let's go with, does this really need big discs? I feel like these will work on mini discs and I realized before that those were not true mini discs that we put Mickey on. Those were larger. Let's see. What do we got in here? Hmm. All right, let's go with those. No. Yeah, let's go with those. Okay. 
them in case we need them again. I'm going to just slide them over. And that way we don't have to listen to the jar. Alright, so this is another small one. There is a big one, but that, well, I think there's two big ones. That requires other items, which means I'm going to have to pause recording and go get them because they're on the other side of the room due to my poor planning. And it really, it's poor planning, but it's also, I have so many stacks of things around here. Um, like I said, that it didn't occur to me that they weren't here, which is also why I think that there's wellness paper missing because I remember that being the absolute thickest stack and instead it really wasn't all right so these match with the board I'm not sure how I feel about the new neutral um, budget pages I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not, so it's probably a good idea to hold on to uh, these pages that I've been not using so that I need them. I can't stand the black and white. I can just grab them. There's all kinds of odd little things in here. And some of these things, like, I just stare at them and I'm like, what is this even for? Like, what is the purpose of this section? So, and it's not like they give you instructions when they sell it to you with, oh, use this for this and use this for that. You're just kind of left to figure it out on your own. Um, and I suppose if you budget a lot when you first started, maybe, or if you have some kind of accounting degree or something. I took accounting freshman year. Uh in college and promptly dropped it because I did not understand anything that they were talking about. Ironically now I'm really pretty good with math and finding deals but did not enjoy counting. Alright so here's my little budget and I have the new winter release budget companion pack coming so there will be more stuff going in here but I'll know where to find it to put the things in it which is the whole point of this be able to find our things so that we can use them. All right, so this is one of those clearance packs of paper that I had gotten um, from Joann's. That's in one of the haul videos, one of the like long before Black Friday haul videos. Just look for Joann's clearance and you'll probably find this paper. So I thought, since this is larger sized paper and it's blue, that this would be a good excuse to use the Amazon Talia discs and matching colors um, for this particular thing. So these are kind of, like if they're on sale, they're a good deal. And Amazon seems to just randomly throw things on sale all the time. You should look. Like, you should search Happy Planner once every couple days on Amazon because I have found brand new things way cheaper on there. And it's just, like, confusing because they're having all these sales on their website and the craft stores are having all these sales. And yet, somehow, the same items sold by the Happy Planner are cheaper on Amazon. And I don't get that. But I've grabbed a couple of sticker books and things that were a much better deal on Amazon. So you might want to take a look at that. Okay, so we've got our blue discs and our blue covers. And we've got our giant blue paper. So this is kind of like, to me, this is cute, like seasonal paper. Like it just says on here that it's every done everyday paper. Um, but it says so much to do. You've got a checklist. You've got some grid. You've got snow. You've got blue. And on the back it says get it done. So I can think of a bunch of reasons to use this. I need a garbage bag. Um, but I also want to be able to find it. So as I open other 
paper packs from my big size planners and it's just like you know daily sheets or not the papillon though because that's that's a whole other thing um that's one of those things that's going to be stored in a package and labeled so that when i run out of them i know where i put my packs and i don't buy more of them <laughs> Um, but I don't want to take them all out and put them on the discs because it just seems silly. They're in the package. They're perfectly safe. This package was broken. And since it's broken, the paper could get damaged, could get dusty. I mean, it could be, get dusty sitting on the shelf too, but I'm kind of crazy about dusting. Um, but, you know, someone could accidentally spill coffee on you know if this is you know an open package just laying somewhere which is exactly what it was doing before it was just hanging out on my dining room table so there's like a corner with my planner stuff so like I said there's just there's stuff everywhere um and I need to get my stuff under control and use my stuff and I felt like maybe I'm not the only person who needs to do that I was on somebody's live and somebody, we were talking about the winter release, and somebody had said something like they're going to shop their stash. I think it was Amber's, uh, Amber plans her day. I think it was her live two days ago, three days ago, something like that. Um, and somebody said that they didn't get anything and they were going to shop their stash. And Amber thought that was great. And I also think that that's great because I'm looking around at all my stuff. And don't get me wrong, I bought stuff from the winter release, but I didn't buy like I bought for the fall release. Um, it just wasn't that appealing. Um, I mean, some of the stuff is appealing, don't get me wrong. But everything didn't, like, jump out at me. Certain things did, certain things didn't. Um, so that stuff's coming Monday and Tuesday, so middle of next week, you'll have a video for that. Alright, so now we've got our blue seasonal paper, our blue covers, and our blue discs. This is a little... It's not quite matchy. This is more like an aqua. Um, but this works. I'll probably label this just because I won't remember exactly what this is. But like I have the, the paper from the Notes and Plans line. And I have my usual um, daily sheets that I pop into my work planner. And I have other large size note paper. Those things are all upstairs on my planner cart. So this will be added to as I open things because once they're open I think they should go on these discs instead of sitting around in their packaging and potentially getting damaged in any number of ways. The allergy attacks continue. Okay. Now what have I got here? I have... Okay. So this is my big sized faith stuff and I'm using a big size faith planner this year so it would have been great if they had put out some more you know big faith stuff um so these are I mean I'm still going to totally use my short pages my classic size pages it's just so we've got note paper here and then pretty much more note paper um it's got a lot less like, prompts and things like that than Sorry, the shorter pages. So this is kind of a good fill-in for, um, and I've got a folder in the back because I only had one dry erase board. Um, so this is kind of a, you know, it's a good fill-in for a cover. I'm never going to use this. Um, I like my words to stay on the page. I don't really like them disappearing so this is a very short stack again why don't we grab these if we have enough let's see oh we're gonna just make it okay so we've got 11 mini discs so we'll pop these on don't exactly match, but good enough. Um, 
So I've asked before, but nobody ever answers me in the comments. Do any of you have uses for your dry erase boards or wet erase boards? I think wet erase is probably a better idea because if you use your dry erase markers on this and then rub them, whatever you put on there is going to be gone. This was the best idea I could come up with for using these. And the folders because really how many folders do you need i don't need that many but it seems like every time i want to buy some cute paper and some accessories i need to buy a folder and usually some kind of dashboard like here's a dashboard i mean this is really pretty don't get me wrong i wonder if i could put this through my laminator and make it a cover that'd be cool um, yeah, I was playing with the laminator earlier, so um, I still have to get the dimensions right for the covers, but I did make a cover, and on the inside of the cover I made a Christmas bucket list, and it's laminated, so um, you, know, you can use it year after year. Uh, I'll put it on Instagram, because that planner is currently upstairs. There's the note paper. Oh, did I just put these in upside down? No. Okay. So there's note paper and then there's these papers. And I like these all. They're pretty, they're, you know, serene. Um, I did prefer the kind of light blues that they had a couple releases back. Um, I really liked that. And I really liked that last what was it, spring or summer release, whenever they put out the 18-month planners, I really liked all of that. Another thing you could be doing while you're organizing all this stuff is if you see things you absolutely know you want in your 2022 planner and you don't get distracted by shiny things or anything else, um, you could either put them to the side or you can just pick them up, go put them on inside the cover of your 2022 planner and then they're there for when you want to move in, they're already there. Okay, what's next? Now we have Miss Maker. And we've actually got two Miss Makers. Well, I don't know what to do with that Miss Maker because it's a big. Maybe we can put that Miss Maker in that other blue one. It's an extension pack. And there's a folder, but not a dry erase board. Here, wait, let me just grab this. I think it's just an extension pack. Um, so yeah, so there's like an undated monthly. And then the kind of vertical checklist daily things but it's all undated um so like if you feel like a layout change you know for one week or something two weeks and then it's you know that's the daily page um we went over this in another video i'm just trying to see um and then there's this sheet of stickers which is for dating this so i did put this in here so there's these two um, so I did put them in the folder so that they will match, um, but this doesn't have a front cover. So I'm thinking maybe I will put this in with the blue one, um, even though that's supposed to be note paper, uh, I can put a label on the front and put that's in there. So this is the small Miss Maker. So we have the dry erase board. And then there's dashboards. This is another thing that like, I would like to laminate and make it a cover. Um, and then we got the folder on the back. And these are kind of like daily sheets too. And there's some note paper. And then there's this vision board. So this is another one where I could do, for sure I could do mini discs. Question is, do I 
have more. <laughs> Five, six. All right, so there's only seven there, so that's only good for a mini planner. exactly match that but I think I like the pink better and I think just to accommodate that I'm gonna make the folder the front and this the back I think that'll look good So they're not quite mini discs, but they're not quite classic size discs either. We went over this issue <laughs> in the video. Alright, so we'll pop these on. I love this pattern. I just absolutely love this pattern. You don't have to use these things either. Like if you have covers that you're not using, which I have a cover or two we're not using that we're gonna use for something else. Um, for one of these, actually, uh, in a little bit. Those are the ones I was moving. Um, all right, so we got three extra. So there we go. Um, you can use planner covers, totally. Um, Judy from JLB Crafts. I love her channel. She's a lot of fun. Um, she makes them out of placemats from Dollar Tree, which I think is totally awesome. I just haven't gotten around to that yet, but I'm going to try that out um, for storing like old planners if I want to keep the cover. Um, you know, maybe more paper. And at some point, I'm going to run into an issue where I have more paper than things I can store the paper on. Um, I'm sure. I don't know. Might. I do go through those notebooks pretty quick. And then I refill them with all kinds of things. Like right now, my really big work notebook has like Valentine's Day paper in it. It's Christmas, but it's got Valentine's Day paper in it because that's what I'm using right now. So that's what I grabbed. Okay, so there we go, and that's quite clearly Miss Maker. Alright, now let's... Okay. Let's put Miss Maker in here. Um, and in case you're wondering what, how you would do a label for this, I would just do, um, I would just grab like a label or if you have a label maker, you could do a label maker. Um, I have two label makers. I have one of those little handheld brothers and then I have like an older one. It's not one of those new things. Um, and I have a, I don't know, what's it called? Dymo, Dynamo. I'm not really sure how, what the name is, but... Um, I have rolls of labels and it, it spits them out for me. So, um, and then I've also got packages of labels because I have like work supplies all over my house too. Because I work here instead of in my office. Um, which I'm hoping will change. I mean, not that it's not nice to be able to, you know, work at home and it is, but I'm quite clearly needed. And I've been home for a long time. So, hopefully, after I'm all healed, I get my booster shot. Unless there's some other deadly variant that pops up, I think I would like to go back to work. Um, which will mean more early morning and late night YouTube video shooting because. 
I won't have that extra hour uh, in the morning when I shoot like really long videos um, because I'll have to be in my car. But we'll see. My boss might want me to stay here. He worries about my health. I worry about my health, but it's nice when your employer worries about your health and wants to protect you. So, sorry about the microphone wire. I'm just babbling while I do these things. So now we've got the blue cover and it's got our blue notebook paper and then we start the Miss Maker with the folder. So it's got a divider, like if you wanted you could grab one of those sticky tabs or something, put it on the top here and write Miss Maker on it. I'm just going to stick a label on the front and there's still plenty of room on here for my original intended purpose which is just large note paper that needs a storage solution until I get to it. All right, before we do our last pack of paper, I wanted to show you this because if you have trouble letting go of your dividers and you have them in an envelope or a file folder or a drawer or somewhere, put them on disks. Hopefully this will show up. So I, this one is like completely full. I can't fit any more on here and this is on expander discs, but I basically have them by month and they just go all the way through January to December. So if I don't like the discs or discs, if I don't like, we've been talking about discs a lot today. If I don't like the divider in a planner, I can change it to something I do because I don't normally do monthlies so and I like my dividers like here's a seasonal one there's another seasonalish one these are from moody floral or dark florals beauty and florals something like that my favorite color is spring like you get the idea here so I like having divider choice that one's very nice um, so since I don't really do monthlies in most of my planners, I hang on to the dividers. Those are dividers, I think, from some sticker thing. Um, and I forget why I had this cover laying around, but I did. Um, so anyway, there's an idea for storing your dividers and getting them out of your drawers and envelopes and wherever else you may have them. Uh, let's see put this. I guess that's going right there. Okay, so now we're going to do our last stack of paper. And I am using a planner cover for this. And I already have expander discs on it. So I saved us a little bit of time. Okay, so this is just blue notebook grid paper that I got out of, I think, one of those um, accessory boxes that I found at Joann's when I did that really big haul. Um, but it's blue and it's got like a star snowflake kind of pattern on the side. And I thought it went well with the seasonal um, winter Christmas paper from the seasonal paper packs uh, from Cyber Week. So I'm going to put this in with that paper, you will put that paper on top of this. Um, I use grid paper, I don't use grid paper enough um, to really justify it having like a special spot somewhere. But since it does seem to go with this paper, um, I figured why not? And these, you know, this winter themed paper is, again, it's like daily sheets. Um, and with daily sheets comes the need for at least one additional piece of notebook paper, at least for me, even though you can usually use the back. Um, so I'm going to pop these on here. pretty warm here today so 
the upstairs windows are open so if you hear like sirens in the background i live right by the fire and police and rescue squad and uh it gets pretty loud it's basically the town seems like it's always on fire um, the fire trucks are constantly they go out they come back they go out they come back um when you're used to living somewhere quiet like i was it's a big adjustment um, just in case anyone's thinking of moving from the country to somewhere more somewhat urban, I don't recommend it. I really don't. Um, unless you can't stand quiet. Because we don't get any here. When COVID first hit and there was no one like on the street, nobody driving, no one walking around, that was peaceful. I enjoyed that. <laughs> it was the only good thing of the pandemic, I think was that I got some quiet for a while. Once my daughters are done with college, we're moving back to somewhere quiet. Pretty spring paper. Alright, and now we're into the summer paper. So, I threw most of the stack. thing about using the dry erase boards and the folders as covers is you will also get a storage space for those. You know, they're on your shelf, they're with those themed items and basically they're stored until you may want them if you think of a reason or a need or whatever for them. Alright, so we now have seasonal paper and the matching grid in one book. This book, this cover does not necessarily make me think of seasonal paper, uh, so I will probably put something on the front that tells me that. Um, but yeah, so once again, we have done I guess I could show you guys this. So this is what I did earlier today. I'm still learning to use laminator, okay? This is the first time I ever used it. So this is all like scrapbook paper and a little cardstock and some stickers. The stickers are, um, there was one Happy Planner book, the Marion Bright, I think it was called. Um, I used Calva Plans Christmas books and I took some stuff out of the Live Love Posh book, the newer one, not the blue one. Whenever I hear noises now after the desk collapse, I'm very frightened. Okay, um, so anyway, so this is my somewhat glary uh, Christmas bucket list, which is laminated because it's always the same stuff. Um, and then my new cover, so it's not this through the clear anymore. And then I just threw the clear back on because I'm used to it being there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I missized it, like the bottom's fine. <laughs> I, I went too high with the top, so I will figure that out and then we will be laminating lots of things. Um, so for right now, this is back on here. All right, so that's not really relevant. It's just since it was over here, I figured I'd show it to you. All right, so we've got seasonal paper. We have Miss Maker and kinda seasonal paper. Miss Maker. Large Faith. 
fudge it. All the different kinds of note papers. Wellness. Mickey. And the ginormous faith. <laughs> so, I hope you had fun watching me do this. I hope this helps you. I hope, you know, you get out all your stuff and store it. And that way, it's not out of sight, out of mind. And you have it ready to go for 2022. Um, so let me know down in the comments um, if you're going to do this. If you did this along with me. Um, if you think I'm nuts. Uh, <laughs> that's always an option. Um... Do you have other ways that you store these things? And if you do, what are they? And how do they work for you? Because, you know, my solution for storing these things was uh, drawers and stacks and um, planner carts. And they just become wallpaper after a while and I didn't see them. So now I know all my paper is going to be on the second shelf on these discs. And when I need it, I can go get it. So I'm really happy about that. So... Okay, so that's the end for this video. It's probably really long. I'm going to try to edit it down as much as I possibly can. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and sticking around. And I will see you in the next one.